Hello Libra, Jackie Tomlin here and this is your general reading. This is for the week of June 5th, 2023. So the word was no regrets and it's because I'm seeing a lot of regrets and a lot of you beating yourself up and we're going to talk about it in just a second here. Okay, so what we've got going on here, first of all, these are general readings. So take with you what resonates, leave behind what does not. Um... God, the messages are just downloading so quickly. Move forward, move forward, keep pushing forward, okay? If you're seeking a personal reading, it is in the description box below. Find it by finding the black arrow at the bottom right hand on your screen, or it is JackieTomlin.com. Uh, you guys, an Aquarius may or may not resonate with you, okay? Um, the energy is just so strong around you for this particular week. And it's moving forward and it's trying to do so with your held, head held high and without your anger. There's something here that's quick to anger you. Okay. There's been a lesson well learned. It's also a week of total victory. Good news arrives and you're going to be ready to celebrate. Okay. So let me stress that to you. But you're putting a stop to you being used by someone. If you're separated from someone it, or something, it is just temporary. And I need you to know it's just temporary. But I also need to know it's a week about getting things under control. And also the help that you need will be provided. And it looks like it's provided by someone who's very close to you. But when I talk about no regrets, I see you having regrets. There's the regret on the lesson well learned. There is the regret of being used by someone. There is regret of there's anger and there's just some hostility here. And let it go go let it go Elsa just let it go okay so your focus is no regrets no regrets okay now let's get into some oracles before we get into your reading Libra your week of June 5th high priestess of air okay um you are grounded you're centered you're too serious. You're too serious. You're grounded. You're centered. You're very intuitive, but you need to lighten up. You need to have fun. You need to find some playfulness. You need to find something that will make you smile. You're taking life too seriously. God, you'll die at a young age at this rate. <laughs> I'm just saying, you need to lighten up. See, we got cars bouncing now. So let's see what else we got. All right. Yes, that all that came out my mouth, did it not? It's finding where you belong. And this is where you're getting frustrated, okay? Well, you can't go through life shaking your finger and blaming everybody because you can't find out where you fit in. This is up to you. You are on a vicious cycle of repeating the circle, okay? Um, get off the train. Get off the little hamster wheel here. Do things your way. But I, I'm going to tell you straight up, Libra, happiness is a choice. You need to choose happy. I'll make it a challenge for you for the week. Just be happy for the week. And see what happens. See how things change. Let go of regrets. Let go of what could have been. Choose happy. Let's see what happens for you. And again, I had ashes fall on the card. Rising from the ashes. That's what I got. You've got choices. Okay. Look at this card. Look at this card good. Okay. Do you see there's a black wing? There's a white wing. Which wing is he leaning towards? The white wing. Talk about y'all need to lose your negative attitude. And I'm not hating on you. Okay. I'm not hating on you. I'm just look at there. So I'm talking about playful. Look at that kitten. This is just what I said. There again, Harry, I might be psychic. You need to find the area of happiness and playfulness. That's where you're going to find out where you belong. That's when you're going to break this versus circle that I see you on. Love. Open your heart. Open your heart to love. Open your heart to give love. Open your heart to receive love. But open your heart because love is here and love is in the air. Whether you want to deal with it or not, it is facts. It is facts. And you are really attracted to someone. I want to throw that out there too. Male or female, you are attracted to someone. And particularly, you are attracted to their lips. Well, already then. You're in denial. You're in denial about something. Quit 
quit beating yourself up. If there's something about your parents or something that you feel the lack of, because I'm really finding you in a place of lack, change it. <laughs> Just change it. I mean, change your hair color, change your hairstyle, change your makeup, change the way you dress, buy yourself something new, change it. But I'm finding you, you're coming from an area of lack. Okay. Choose fulfillment. That's what I'm talking about. Choose happy. You can find happiness in the bottom of a wine glass. Go for it. No, I'm just joking. I'm just saying. Choose fulfillment. This is where you find where you belong. You're putting too much focus on the um, on denial. You're putting too much focus on the lack of. You're putting too much focus on the anger. What could have been. What should have been. You're, you're just looking at the fragments. If you want the glow up, choose happy. All right, Libra. Let's get into your reading, and hopefully that was into my sermon for today. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's okay, Mr. Harry. I totally understand. Totally understand. All right, Libra. This is what I've got. I've got the Ace of Cups talks about you're in a new beginning and new beginning is in love with the knight of wands and yes i think i fully believe this goes hand in hand love and the movement i'm seeing movement on the home front someone moving in someone moving out could be the movement of furniture could also be a lar large renovation but some of you looking at a residential move some of you though looking at leveling up in a relationship and li um, living together okay We have the King of Pentacles, financially grounded, financially centered. You're doing well financially. Hello, Miss Dana. Welcome. Absolutely. Hi, Alicia. So you're dealing with the Gemini energy. Um, and you're also financially stable. Okay. We have the Queen of Cups. This is what I'm talking about, okay? Remember I talked to you about opening your heart? This is exactly what I'm talking about. Scorpio Energy says, open your heart to give love. Open your heart to receive love. Just be open. Let's choose happy. And see how things fall into place once you do. And not for an hour and not for the afternoon, but I'm talking about for the entire week. Center of the reading, we have the Four of Pentacles. Keeping some things to yourself. Thoughts, ideas, and opinions. You don't have to disclose everything to be happy. Five of Cups. Here is the problem, Libra. Get out of your head. When you overthink things, you take your energy level from up here to down here with the quickness. And this is where I find the problem. Okay. Taurus was intense, Alicia. Very intense. Six of swords, leaving the troubled waters and heading off into the calm. With the five of swords, you're too guarded and defensive. Let your guard down. Let your guard down. If I saw a reason here for you to be guarded or defensive, you know I would tell you. All right, Libra. The lovers, intensity, and the love life roll with it. This is whether you are single or a couple. And we have the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands. Happiness, contentment, and love arrows flying around. Try it. Just try it. Okay? We also have the Six of Pentacles. So something coming in to restore your financial balance. And it's time for you to make decisions that you've been putting off. Lots of messages here for the Libras. Let's keep going. Let's see what we got in this deck. And I'm not coming off as lecturing you. I'm coming off of what spirit is relating. I'm just the messenger. It sounds like we changed things up. There's the happily ever after. Let's see. Hmm. 
Nine of Wands. Says you're bajiggity. You're like that cat on a hot tin roof. You're anxious. You're excited. You're overwhelmed. You're all of that all at one time. So, yeah, you're bajiggity. Okay. Trust issues. I'm seeing you're having problems with trust issues. Well, trust in yourself. Because here is the queen. Okay. And that queen of, was well, she queen of inspiration, queen of wands? Leo energy. This says you're being true to yourself. Treat yourself. Be true to yourself. We have the muse of emotions. Someone in your love life. Someone pulling at your heartstrings as your inspiration. Well, you know what? They don't want gr grumpy. They want happy. So there's your inspiration. Three of inspiration comes in with you're losing patience. This is where I can see your temper falling into place. You want everything. You want it right now. Look over the past. What worked well for you. What did not work well for you. Okay. Roll with that. We have here the muse of voices. Listen to yourself. Are you being negative? Are you being positive? Remember, the person that has your heartstrings is your inspiration. And then we come in here with the Page of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles is a slow, slow moving, but it's a good business deal at hand. I want to throw out a Capricorn. Capricorn may or may not resonate for you. Okay. Ooh, look at the ones jumping now, guys. You got the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Ten of Pentacles is the financial abundance is the highest financial card in the deck, but it's everything. This is your health, wealth, family, friends. It's everything. You've got everything. You have no reason to be unhappy. Three of voices, third person, unwanted advice and or opinion. Maybe this is who you smart off to. Maybe this is who you put into a place. They really happen. Spirits coming through very strongly today. And we have the seven of emotions. Y'all, please look up fallen ashes. Falling ashes. What does it mean? <laughs> and we have seven of emotions. Seven of cups tells me you've got options. You've got options in so many areas. So many areas that you don't even realize. It's more than options and love. You have options. You know, it's kind of like if you watch my readings, the world is your oyster. You need to recognize and embrace that. Okay, so these have jumped out. This is what we have for my Libra. There it is. Date night. Two of emotions. Ten of cups. This is a relationship. This is a relationship. Libra, I'm going to leave you on this high note. Okay, take me seriously. You can't make someone else happy if you're not happy with yourself. <laughs> Dana, help me out, dear. Good vibrations. Marky Mark, what band is that? We're referencing back to Virgo, I think. I think it was. Was it Virgo or was it Leo? I think it was Virgo. The funky bunch. <laughs> oh my God, I love you. Li Libra, I love you. And I am just the messenger here. But it, you've got two paths. You've got two vivid paths in this reading. Which one are you going with? You know? I mean, I think that one card showed you everything. Which path are you going with? The white ring, white wing or the dark wing? Where do you want to end up this week? That's what I have. What does Alicia have for us with the falling ashes? And if you're wondering, your incense ashes are falling down on, on your cards. There's no dreams and various images that are present in their sleep.
Life of the Dreamer. Pen, it depends on the perspective of the person. Two paths. Falling ashes. What you going to do? All right. That's what I got for my Libras. Now, I am going to take a break. I uh, also have a grandchild to pick up and a couple of readings. So, we will re be resuming here today with Scorpio, but I will not be resuming with Scorpio until probably 4.30 or 5 o'clock. So, I hope you will join me then. But either way, we're going to get these done today. Yes, I'm a day behind. Yes, Jackie took a day off to play. Sure did. Enjoyed it. We'll do it more often. <laughs> That's what I have. All right, guys, so I hope to see you back here then. Um, the weekend video is up, Aries through Libra. And don't forget your current week videos are up as we're working on next week. So that's what I've got for y'all. So I will see you 435-ish, 430-ish. I will see you 430-ish right back here with Scorpio. Bye, gang. <laughs>